Radiant Soul family, you might have a hard time seeing me for a minute. I will be lighting candles very soon though. But I kind of wanted it to be a little bit darker as I do the ritual. However, hopefully the candles light it up so you guys can still see what I'm doing. I am performing a ritual dedicated to Tiamat. Everyone that has chosen to be part of this ritual and join me tonight on this very special night that involves being initiated into the draconian path, being initiated by Tiamat herself, um, received an egg that contains a sigil in it. Now this is how you're going to use the sigil. The sigil is going to be added as your personal sigil during your workings. You will have to continue rituals and ceremonies after this. Um, I do recommend reading like the grimoire of Tiamat or something related to that subject matter to help you really expand your knowledge and understanding and working with these spirits and going forth with these with this type of chaotic kind of energy. However, that is your choice and you can just meditate on the sigil and that will help kind of work you through it as well. I am also going to ask you when I light the incense, we'll begin there and the candles to help you receive the energy and just to make sure that you absorb the most from this ritual. I want you to take your arms and wrap it. It is a yoga position and you're lifting up. There is a reason behind yoga. So a lot of people think of modern yoga as kind of just like stretching, healthy, but the idea of yoga is actually union between you and the divine. And this is position. It's already been intent to send. So I'm sending, you are receiving. So this allows the energy to direct and receive, and it makes it really easy to absorb the most from this video. I know I'm running a little bit late. Um, today, it's been a little bit crazy trying to get everything done and trying to get this camera to work. It's always been, it's always fun. But I am finally starting. I did create my own sigil for Tiamat that I am doing directly. You may or may not be able to see that as of right now. Um, just because I don't really like using other people's sigils as they've energy has been created into them. They can be tainted um, and I don't want to manifest any thought forms or open up any gateways that I don't intend to actually meant to open. So I create my own sigils for that very reason, but that is a personal choice. Now I am going to sit down. <laughs> And I, as always, before I actually start the ritual, I explain everything as we go through it. Incense are really useful. Um, the purpose of incense and rituals is really to create an environment. You can do everything on the astral, but there is a level of power within ritual and a way to honor the spirits in a very unique physical way as well. And adding incense and candles and offerings really allow that connection to emerge. And then I also have with Tiamat, I felt it would be very beautiful to offer her dragon blood incense as it would make sense. She is connected with the dragons. She is connected with the sea as well. So I'm going to explain everything that is part of my altar and why we are using it. Getting these incense lit. And I will be reading through everyone's comments after the ritual, as I cannot afford the distraction, as many of you probably understand. Especially a ritual like this is going to require a lot of my focus. I am going to be lighting a lot of incense for this one. And I do have my reasons behind that. Smoke is a form of manifestation in itself. Um, plus, I just really want to create a very strong environment right now because I am about to call upon one of the most powerful goddesses. And for Tiamat, I've already connected with her beforehand. She is okay with this ritual. I am doing an invocation, not an evocation. Most of this is going to be done through channeling within my head, within my connection with her. However, there may or may not be a manifestation resulted for that reason because it's not an evocation. An evocation is meant to manifest the spirit. An invocation is not. An invocation is all about within. 
However, with you guys receiving and doing the ritual as part of this with me, you shall also fill her with a meal, hence part of the yoga position. And every time you do a ritual, and I'm kind of trying to teach as I do this too, every time you lay something or you burn an incense, make sure you have intent behind it. So even though I'm discussing with you, I am putting energy into each thing I am doing, I am creating right now. I just want to light that one a little bit more. Even though it's fine, I just want it to be a little bit more lit up. Okay. And it's also important to represent elements um, in rituals. You can do rituals very, fairly cheaply. You can go to Dollar Tree, guys. Actually, we want that lit more. You can get a scarf. You can get some candles. You can get some really probably bad incense. Um, you can go to their little spice section, get some herbs with that, and then offer some blood, and there you go. I'm actually probably going to do a Dollar Tree video in the future on how to make an altar with it, um, just to kind of help people. So here, I have this beautiful nest I've made for Tiamat. This is her sacred nest. This is going to be dedicated entirely to her. I have handmade the dragon eggs. Some of you have already seen these as I posted them. These eggs took me a few days to make. They were a lot of work. It was definitely worth it. Um, this was add to add magical power and to be symbolic. Because here in this ritual, we are going to be entering into the womb of Tiamat. Hence the eggs. This is kind of like her release. Like her kind of birthing us into this path, into this working. So hence the eggs versus the traditional burning of the sigils. However, we are gonna still do some farm burning, but it's not gonna be as much as usually, as usual, I mean. And hopefully these candles help with lighting. If not, I will increase lighting a little bit. But I don't want it too much. Just want you guys to be able to see what I'm doing. But I have quite a few candles here, so we should be okay. So as of right now, I have not started the ritual, as you can tell. And a lot of times I start the ritual as I'm lighting the candles and incense. The reason why I have not started um, is because in this case, I'm doing a little bit, of, well, doing a lot of things different in this ritual. But I actually want to, I'm creating her environment, I'm creating her temple first. I want her to come in feeling welcome, her comfortable. Because she is very ancient and she's not usually a spirit that you would just call upon live, on Facebook Live. So I am trying to make it as comfortable and as welcoming as possible. Which is something you can always do beforehand, any ritual for any deity. Um, that is up to you. And then I am providing my black square mirror. I don't know if you guys can even see it though. Hopefully. Maybe I should put, nah, I might have put candles there just in case. Cause that will cause a reflection. We don't want that anyways. We want it to be clear. Okay, I feel like that is plenty of lighting, I hope, for you guys. Um, I feel like I really just don't want to add more. Because I feel like it will really take away from the ritual myself. So with this sigil, I am going to be going ahead and make the initial connection um, with her. I'm going to channel. This is how I connect with spirits. So instead of chanting a bunch of words or saying a bunch of fancy things, I pretty much am just going to connect. Um, I'm going to breathe her in. I'm going to bring her essence into me. I'm also going to bring her sigil and I'm going to create it out here to create the portal between us and everybody that is actively part of this. I will say a few words for the sake of doing this ritual as it is live, so you guys kind of have an idea what the communication can be like. And I will now begin.
Mother Tiamat, I call to thee and I invoke thee, I invoke thee to join me into this ritual, into the space that I have created to honor you with the dragon to represent you, Mother, the seas, the ocean, the essence to come through. Allow your energy flow into me and help that energy be directed into those who seek to be initiated under your name, O oh, great Tiamat. This is the first egg to represent the first individual to be initiated. Remember your sigil for your workings. This will be your magical imprint between you and Tiamat. And you will be connected. You will be binded for the spirit working. As I pour the wax to seal your egg. This is the goldenish egg, cold copper looking almost. The next egg. Your egg will now be sealed to bind you for this path. Jig is being symbolically actually covered in serpents as well. The next day. been binded to this path and to this working.
have now been sealed into this path, binded by the serpent. You have now been sealed into this path and bounded to the serpent. This is the final egg, but there are more to this ritual, so please do not remove yourself as it is not fully completed. You are now bounded to this path, embraced by the serpents. Mother Tiamat, as we carry into your womb, cover us with your liquids, with your oceans, your consciousness, emerge us into the realms of the infernal dragons. Bring us, initiate us into your path. Connect us with us, bind us by our souls and bring us into the realm of the dragons under your lessons, your guidance, your power. Teach us what we need. Teach us what we need to know through our shadows to empower us to awaken our own Kundalini, to raise and to ascend. O oh, Tiamat, the mother, the queen of dragons, I call to thee and I invoke thee, I invoke thee. And I ask that you initiate all of us into your womb, bringing us into your temple and blessing each into us into the ritual. Very hot right now. Tiamat, Tiamat, thank you for your presence, for your guidance. I'm going to channel some of my own energy into your sigil, into this portal. Do not just give us access between the physical and spiritual, but as an offering of our devotion, our dedication, as each of these children are welcome into your path. And I offer some sand onto your sigil to connect us to the ocean of your consciousness. And I wipe through the smoke to bring into the air as you speak and communicate through us all. And to send our messages, to send our devotion, to connect us between the worlds. I offer your sigil, this portal that has been created to honor thee, to burn through the flames, to manifest unto the astral, to show the devotion, the power, to bring us all together. And as your children that are now initiated will now draw their own sigils and will burn them to honor them, to honor their connection with you. Please accept our offerings, Tiamat. Oh, 
thank you, goddess, for joining us. And you join us into our dreams, into the astral, as we continue our work with thee. Each of these candles to flame to represent each child will now fade into time until they are ready for the next step. Always welcome with us, Tiamat. As a ritual is truly never ending, but a journey into us all. And this is my will, Samoda B. I will now come look at the comments and see what is being said. And you guys probably didn't see everything that's happening on the sand, but my incense cones went wild. It's so weird. It is so cool looking. Oh, get up. <laughs> I think she looked like the dragon's blood. Okay. Now I can probably turn the light on a little bit. <laughs> Alrighty. It is time to read the comments. Oh, that was so powerful, guys. So powerful. I'm probably going to walk into my bedroom. This energy in here is so intense. All right, Whew. Whew. all right, it's time to read the comments. Oh, my fire alarm. I got it covered under my blanket to try to get it to not go off. It is sensitive, well, like no other. And my makeup, Whew. it's all smeared. <laughs> all right, it's time to read through these comments. I might lean back and do this. Oh, sorry, there's so much energy. Whew. Okay, we'll do this. <laughs> We're gonna lean back. All right, hi Fia, hi Willow, hi Lewis, hi Michael, hi Eden, hi Cody, hi Sebastian, hi Curly, I still, I can't say your Facebook name, Alistu, hi Scarlett, hi Martha, hi Aldora, oh thank you, I think you're absolutely beautiful and amazing too, hi Raja, hi Linda, Hi, Catherine. Hi, Keller. Hi, Shaylee. Happy birthday, girl. Love you so much. You look great. Oh, thank you, Catherine. I love her. She's really awesome. Her energy is raw and pure. Oh, thank you so much. Why is everything about eggs today? Well, Catherine, for the purpose of this ritual, it was all about the dragon eggs. It was very symbolic of her birthing us into her path. And it is almost Easter, so that might also be why there's a lot of eggs going around. Um, but yeah, it is very symbolic and very powerful. And it also represents our birth in, into almost becoming demonic as well. It's extremely powerful. Alright, I have burned mine in visualization. Yes, I felt the energy too. I am glad to hear that. I'm so happy that this is powerful um, that was great. Transform into something fun. Uh, what? A filter? <laughs> I'm okay. I don't have, <laughs> I'm not here to do filters for this video. This is not, I don't know. Just don't fill it. All right, guys. I'm not seeing any actual questions. If you do have any, just know I will get back to you. My head is on fire. Please let me know how it went for you. I know I'm already getting some positive comments. But please let me know feedback and let me know if your head's on fire or if that's just me. Because holy shit, like, this is why I'm laying down. This was so intense. But 
Oh, I can't wait to rewatch the video and get this uploaded to YouTube. Thank you everyone who participated in the ritual with me and was initiated. Definitely keep up the work. Um, I actually, one of those eggs was mine too. So I want to be part of it and be working with this with you guys as well. As I've had Bella Connection Tiamat before, but I never worked through all the spirits or anything in the past. And I think this is really the right opportunity. I just feel really drawn to her energy. Um... And I've always felt connected to her mythology and everything. So I'm very excited to kind of expand on that. Oh my god, guys. But I think I gotta go right now. Because I think I need to, like, maybe hop in water. Like, ice cold water. During the ritual, I saw her as a huge dragon with beautiful golden eyes. Aww. Yeah, yeah. There was She was definitely manifesting through her dragon form. Big time. Um, And I saw golden eyes, too. And then I saw, like, two other dragons. I'm like, oh my god, it was so intense. But I am so glad you were able to pick up on that as well. Anyways, I will talk to all of you soon. Again, please let me know your feedback, comments, questions, and so forth, and how it felt for you and your overall experience. Um, and thank you for watching Inferno Blessings.